happy new year. Along with the new year comes those resolutions. We all want to do better, right? Well, John the Baptist provided people an opportunity to give a new commitment to try to live a better life and repent of their sins. But there was one coming he was announcing that would actually take away our sins. Let's read about John the Baptist and how he introduces us to Jesus. We'll be picking up where I left off on my last video, which was John 18 is where we left off. So we're starting with John 19 and let's go all the way through John 50, which will get us to the first chapter of the book of John. So John the Baptist declares his mission. Now this was John's testimony when the Jews of Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail to confess, but confessed freely, I am not the Christ. They asked him, then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Finally, they said, who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make straight the way for the Lord. Now the Pharisees, who had been sent to question him, asked, Why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptize with water, John replied, but among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the thongs of whose sandal I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany on the other side of the Jordan where John was baptizing. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, a man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. I would not have known him except that the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, the man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain on is he who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and I testify that this is the Son of God. The next day, John was there again with his two disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look, the Lamb of God. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, where are you staying? Come, he said, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying and spent the day with him. It was about the 10th hour. Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, was one of the two who had heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him, we have found the Messiah. And he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, you are Simon, son of John. You will be called Cephas, which translated means Peter. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, we have found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathaniel asked. Come and see, said Philip. When Jesus saw Nathaniel approaching, he said of him, here is a true Israelite in whom there is nothing false. How do you know me? Nathaniel asked. 
Jesus answered, I saw you while you were under the fig tree before Philip called you. Then Nathanael declared, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus said, You believe me because I told you I saw you under the fig tree? You shall see greater things than that. He then added, I tell you the truth. You shall see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. It's interesting that Jesus asked the two followers, what do you want? It's not enough to just follow Jesus. We have to have the right motives. Do we want him to follow us? Or do we want to glorify God? Well, John the Baptist got it right. He pointed people to Jesus. He said, look, the Lamb of God. Well, it turns out, if you don't know this, that Israel was sacrificing lambs every morning and every evening to cover all the sins of the people. And that was daily. So whenever John pointed to Jesus and said, the Lamb of God, he was pointing to the Messiah who had been prophesied for hundreds and hundreds of years. They knew he was coming. They were waiting for him to come. They couldn't wait. They were so excited. They didn't know though. They didn't understand that he was literally gonna die. That's Jesus dying for your sins. We just gotta confess him as our savior. So I hope you'll do that today if you haven't already. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, You have come into the world because we are fallen and we make mistakes and we can't fix things on our own. We need you. We need your forgiveness. Holy Spirit, fill me with the knowledge of your Son, your Savior, Jesus Christ, as I repent and turn to you as my everything, my all. I put you first as I have a new life in you, Jesus. Amen. Of course, you can make that prayer even better by just confessing in your heart and pick up your Bible. And thanks for joining me. See you next time.